Tales of Tomorrow. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Tales of Tomorrow Experiment is a science fiction short story game set on a remote ship wandering through space. Without any memories or recollection of his past, our hero is tasked by the ship AI, Aria, to perform daily tasks that will help maintain the ship. Hi guys, this is going to be a short review of a short game. And the best laugh is, I don't know if it's worth a buy because I have no idea how much it costs. It isn't out yet. But it's a very short game. You can kind of complete this in, in around about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, no problem at all. So I wouldn't expect it to actually cost that much money. Uh, anyway, the game loop is this. You wake up on the ship, the AI is in command, and the AI will tell you what you have to do. You have to do numerous tasks each day. Now, it says in the words that the, the, the tasks are kind of to help maintain the ship. I've yet to find a task that looks as if it's maintaining the ship. The tasks are stuff like you'll walk into a room where there's two walls of screens and you have to match the left up with the right. Please step away. Let's proceed. Your task. Mirror left side. You'll go into another room where there's a cube, uh, a big sort of shape with cubes missing. You have to guess how many cubes is missing out of that. Stuff like that. But the real game is not so much the puzzles. The real game is the sabotaging of the ship, the ship AI rather, so you can escape. To do that, you've got to hunt down five floppy disks. Now, to get the floppy disks, they're all behind locked panels, secret panels. And you have four tools at your disposal to unlock the panels. And the panels are in five rooms. I think it's five rooms in the maze part of the ship. Now, in between your tasks, if you say do a good task, you'll get maybe a couple of minutes break. You use that couple of minutes to grab the tools, rush into one of the areas and start undoing all the locks on the panels. Get into the panels, avoid the laser beam kind of uh, defense mechanism, get to the tape, get out again and make sure you make it in time to your next task. Now the problem with this is that you're using up uh, energy and food and so you're getting weaker, so you have to kind of manage. There's a bit of management between doing the tasks properly, getting them done, getting food, and being able to keep your energy levels up high while you're doing all this. Now, the problem I have with the whole of this kind of concept is the AI can see everything you're doing. So the AI should know that you've nicked tools out of the storage and are actively dismantling secret passages and going in and taking shit. And yet the AI seems completely unaware of anything that you're doing that's untoward, which is a bit nuts, but never mind. You ha that's, that's what ruined the immersion for me. In fact, the first time I ever played this, I was thinking of ways of disabling the cameras in certain rooms so that I could sneak into the, the secret areas. I guess I was overthinking. I guess this is the problem with games these days. Um... Back in the day, this game would not be anywhere near as simple. You would have to do it without the AI seeing you. Now you can just say, hey, look, I have these tools. Look, look, I'm dismantling this wall. I'm going, look, I'm in the tunnel stealing the discs that's going to shut you down. So that kind of pissed me off a little bit about this. But other than that, that's the game loop, guys. It's just a simple game loop. Stay alive, stay well fed, keep your stamina up, do the daily tasks, and in between them tasks, do the tasks well, get enough time to sneak around the ship and find the five discs, shut the, the, the AI down, end of game. Very, very short. Um, it looks nice, and the voices is quite nice, and you do genuinely hate the AI because it's a smarmy little twat. So, you, you you know, there is that going for the game. And the puzzles, I guess, are okay. But overall, I was quite disappointed with it. Um, there's an Iron Man mode where, because normally if you die, and you will die if you're not careful, you can restart from the beginning of that day. Um, Iron Man mode, th th you can't. It's just dead, dead. So there you go, guys. Tales of Tomorrow. If this is the kind of bag you're into, then, yeah. I don't know how much it is, so I, I don't know whether it's worth a pie or not. Uh, what I will say is that it's not my cup of tea, to be honest with you. Um, however, this mug next to me is my cup of tea. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to drink the bastard. <laughs>